In Italian, dorso duro means hardback. It usually applies to someone who is tough and strong, not the kind of person who is easily won over by this kind of motorbike, however sporty and aggressive it might be. The new Apria Dorso Doro 750 is a powerful supermoto, which is intended to appeal to those with a taste for something strong and spicy. It's a recipe that we're putting to the test on the roads of Italy, the home of inventive cuisine and motorbikes full of character. Much of the Dorso Doro's appeal is down to its contemporary use of plastics and its simple stretched out lines. It features a whole host of top spec equipment and a high quality of finish. Like you would expect from a supermoto bike, the Dorsoduro is original. For example, its unique rear shock absorber mounted to the right of the frame, and its stainless steel trellis frame with horizontal alloy bars. The cast alloy radius arm is quite technical in its design. Hosting a single sack shock, it's fully adjustable. The 43 mm diameter inverted fork can be adjusted for varying levels of compression, the centre is a 17-inch alloy wheel, plus a wave double disc brake. The discs are gripped by four piston fixed radial calipers. They're powerful, but remain easy to manage. The brakes on this bike are nigh on perfect. The engine is a brand new 750cc V-twin unit. Water-cooled with dual overhead camshafts and four valves per cylinder, it develops 92 horsepower at 8,750 RPM. The exhaust has a catalytic converter and there's a large silencer beneath the seat. The sound it produces is fitting for a sports bike without being too loud. The dash and handlebars have been carefully designed. The handlebars themselves are conical shaped with fully adjustable controls and a fully featured dash. Also worth noting are the three injection maps selected using the right hand controller. Right then, enough talking, let's get back on the road. Now the riding position is instinctive and the Dorso Doro is a relaxing ride. From the first few metres it feels light and precise, with little time needed before you feel right at home. The intermediate touring mode is well suited town riding with plenty of power. However, it's outside the town that the Dorso Doro really comes into its own and excels on the twisty roads. With its wide tyres and efficient suspension, the slight softness of the fork is easily forgiven. This is a bike that gives the rider plenty of enjoyment. Switch to the sport mode and there's a whole load more character to be unleashed. The throttle is electronically linked to the injection and responds rapidly when asked to provide power. The bike sticks to the ground and is lively and instinctive. The Dorso Doro is good fun but not quite as violent as it would like you to believe. The suspension responds well when asked to perform even on the bumpiest of roads. It doesn't take you long to feel really at home and want to go on a road trip. The limiting factor to that is perhaps the relatively small 12 litre fuel tank. We can easily spend the whole day though playing with this bike through the corners. It's great fun on the brakes and there's plenty of power throughout the range. The Apria Dorsodoro is a real success then, starting at 8,850 euros, it's not out of place versus competitors when it comes to price either, especially given how well equipped it is. This is one that could leave the established leaders in the class heading back to the pits.